In this video, I'm gonna show you 11 SEO hacks that will give you maximum results with minimal effort. In fact, I use many of these hacks to grow this website's monthly traffic from 20,000 to 200,000 in a single year. That's 900% growth. My name is Matt Diggity, I'm the founder of LeadSpring, an SEO-focused marketing business that competes in the most competitive industries imaginable. We're constantly testing to see what kind of loopholes still exist in the Google algorithm that will get you asymmetric gains with little risk whatsoever. These are SEO hacks that I only share in my course, The Affiliate Lab, but I'm gonna open things up and share some here with you today. But before we do that, let's define what is an SEO hack. Sure, there's SEO tactics like create quality content, but can you really call that a hack? What I'm referring to when I say SEO hack is a cheat code, a shortcut if you will. I'm talking about SEO tactics that give you asymmetrical results compared to the amount of effort needed to put them to use. And that doesn't mean I'm talking about black hat SEO. Sure, some of the hacks I'll be mentioning aren't quite snow white, but most of them are. And you'd be silly to ignore them in your SEO arsenal. Where did I learn these SEO hacks from? I've been in this industry since 2009, so you pick up some tricks along the way, whether that be through testing, experience, or sharing trade secrets with friends. So in this video, I'm going to open up the book and share with you 11 of my favorite SEO hacks. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'll share a bonus one with you too. Now, if you want to toss me a bonus, I'd really appreciate it if you smash the like button. Smashing the like button is the number one hack that can help out with this video and my YouTube channel as well. So hook a brother up. First on our list of SEO hacks that crush it right now is Parasite SEO. With Parasite SEO, you get content placed on a high authority website with a ton of backlinks and you piggyback off its authority to get to the top of Google. And it works like gangbusters. Let me show you an example out in the wild. I just Googled best weight loss supplement, which you can bet your buns is a very lucrative affiliate keyword. Up here at the top, we have an article from theobserver.com. Let's open it up. Right up here, smack dab before the article even starts, you see the word sponsored. That means that someone paid the observer to place this article up and pretty much just skip the entire process of having to build your own website for SEO. I mean, why not if you can just hack your way to the top by borrowing another website's authority? Running Parasite SEO is really as easy as it appears. You simply need to email these big publisher sites via their contact or media pages and ask them a set of questions. How much does it cost for a post and are your prices reasonable? Can I write an article as long as I want? Will you enter a link to my article? Are your outbound links do follow? Are images allowed in your post? And are you okay posting content in my specific niche? The more yeses they say, the more chances you have to post an article that ranks high on Google. You also want to look at domain authority. The more links the site has, the better. Now, if you want the full playbook on this strategy, make sure to check out my video on Parasite SEO after you finish this video. The next SEO hack that still works wonders today is 301 redirects, especially 301 redirects using the acquisition method. I mean, if you don't call this traffic boner right here an SEO hack, I really don't know what else you'd call it. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Now what you're doing with this strategy is getting your hands on a huge tasty domain with a bunch of links and maybe even a bunch of traffic. Then you use a 301 redirect, which can be configured in a ton of easy ways to tell Google that this domain no longer lives here anymore and now lives here on this subsection of my site. So send all that juicy SEO love over to this site instead. Now this process boils down to a few steps. You need to find a good domain to redirect in the first place. For that, I recommend using Otis, which has a huge selection of sites in every niche that are already vetted for quality. They keep their sites hosted as well, so there's no no drop history. Use the link in the description to get $100 off and I'll also learn a small commission that I'll waste on beer. Next, you want to set up the landing page to accept the 301 redirect on your own site. The best way to do that is to create what's known as an acquisition page where you're announcing to the world that your domain has acquired another business and of course, its domain. Here's an example where Larry Ludwig acquired bloggerdesign.com and of course, 301 redirected that site for some nice gains. Next, you want to execute that 301. You can do it in a variety of ways, but in my opinion, the best way to do it is through Cloudflare because of their anonymous DNS. Now there's more details to this process and I don't wanna spend the whole video on this one hack. So make sure to subscribe and I promise I'll go over the whole strategy in full detail later in a later video. The next SEO hack is, let's just say when it works, it works and that's using an age domain instead of starting a domain from scratch. Here's a traffic graph from my buddy's site where he went from zero to 400,000 visitors per month using a nice age domain. But the reason I emphasize when it works, it works is because sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. And other times it works well and the fire burns hot for a while, but it sizzles away after some time like you see right here. The key to getting this technique to work is relevance. How closely related is the age domain to the niche you want to build your site on? Let's say you found a nice website that was a government project focused on improving reproductive health. Is that relevant enough if let's say you wanted to build a steroid affiliate site on it? Well, the answer is yes, because it's definitely been done. Here's how the archive version of this reproductive health site looked in the past. And here's how it looks now, slanging steroids like it's no one's business. And it's not doing too bad now, is it? 11,000 visitors per month is legit. And I can assure you this level of traffic in this niche, they're making some money. 
Our next SEO hack that still does great is mass page sites. Let's say you wanted to create a website to generate leads for landscaping, and you wanted to sell these leads to various landscaping service providers. Well, with the click of a button, you can create a landing page for every city and even every neighborhood in the entire freaking country in a matter of minutes. This is the point of mass page builder sites. You create a template and it's cloned for each location that you specify. Then you end up with a huge 3000 page site with a ton of topical relevance on your industry. And the best thing about it is there's no duplicate content issue when it comes to local SEO. I mean, you wouldn't expect Starbucks to come up with unique content for all 33,000 of their locations, right? The best mass page builder plugins are Magic Page Plugin, SERP Shaker, Page Generator Pro, SERP Farm, and Local Pages Ninja. Next up on our list of hacks is exact match domains, EMDs. I don't know why you'd ever want to, but let's say you wanted to rank number one on Google for best ping pong table. Even in this day and age, it's seriously an unfair advantage if you build your site on bestpingpongtable.com. The reason this works is because of relevance. Google's main job is to figure out the relevance of websites and web pages so that when someone searches for something like ping pong tables, they're able to show a relevant answer. There's no greater thing you can do to establish relevance outside of committing your entire domain name to ping pong tables. It's not even a decision you can easily go back on without having to do a 3-1 redirect. Google knows you're committed to ping pong from that day on out. Unfortunately, as with everything in SEO, there's some downsides to EMDs. The first reason is the obvious one, it limits your expansion. You're gonna have a hard time going into golfing on a website called Best pingpongtables.com. The second is optimization. It's really easy to over-optimize your backlinks when your brand name is an EMD. It's almost like every single anchor text you send is going to have target keywords in it. This is a pitfall I see a lot of newbies fall into. I've left a link to my webinar on anchor text optimization in the description. Check it out after you finish this vid. By the way, I'd like to give a shout out to Otis, the sponsor of this video. Otis is a premium domain marketplace and is my one-stop shop for money site domains. I've been using Otis domains for two main purposes. First is for building websites with a head start instead of having to start from scratch. This site is only a few months old and is already getting 100 visitors per day. Second, Otis domains are great for 301 redirects to give an instantaneous boost to an existing website. The domains on Otis are all hand-picked and vetted for quality. They stock powerful domains with great backlink profiles in a variety of niches. And they also cover your ass by making sure that all the domains have a clean history and have never been used for any funny business. Sign up for Otis, use the link in the description, and get a $100 welcome bonus in your dashboard. Now back to the video. The next hack I got for you is to rank in Google Images. Did you know it takes next to all effort to rank images in Google's image search. You can have some fun with this too. My friend Dino is the sexiest man in San Diego, twice apparently. If it ranks number one on Google, it's gotta be true, right? My friend James is the sexiest girl in Manchester. And again, must be true. But this isn't all fun and games. If you rank in the image search for something like Crypto Wallet, you're gonna get some nice tasty traffic. To rank in Google Images is super easy. You optimize your image's alt text, surround the image in content with keywords that you wanna rank for, and then you get a gig from Fiverr that's gonna syndicate your images to all the image sharing sites like Pixabay and all that. I've left a link to an article that gives you the full playbook in the description. The next hack is a no brainer, and you could do it right now if you just knew what you were looking for. And that's finding keywords on your own site that you're ranking for, but you're not even optimized for. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you open Ahrefs Site Explorer's Organic Keywords Report, you'll get a list of keywords that your site ranks for. Set a filter to only look at keywords in positions 20 through 40. I'm ranking on page two for a keyword digital sales funnel. Not bad, 150 searches per month. But if I open up the article that's ranking for this keyword, the words digital sales funnel aren't even written on the page. That's ridiculous. So at that point, I can just write these words in the article and I'll be on page one. Check your site and make sure you're not leaving anything on the table. And for the next hack, we're taking a trip to the dark side. Hands down, one of the biggest instantaneous ranking movements you'll ever see is to send an exact match target anchor text link from a nice PBN. That's a private blog network site. PBNs are not so white hat links from repurposed domains that are specifically set up for delivering a huge wallop of link power. And that's because you're sending links from a homepage to your site. The vendor I use for PBNs is rankclub.io. They maintained the gold standard for these types of links. They ran a case study and found that PBN links are most effective when used for target anchor text. And I can definitely agree. Just look at how quickly this keyword shot up to number one for a 2,400 search volume keyword. Since we're on the topic of PBNs, the next hack also involves them, but not linking directly to your site, but at the tier two level instead. What we're doing here is boosting the power of your existing links going to your site. Here's what that looks like. You have your money site here as a bunch of nice links from a bunch of white hat normal websites. Great. But those links don't have a ton of power because the articles they're placed on don't have many links going to them. Hit them in the back with some tier two PBN links and they just became the best links 
links in your profile. Once again, I'm using Rank Club for tier two PVNs as well. Next, we have a hack that is super easy to set up and that's optimizing your meta description to make sure it gets the most clicks as possible from Google search result page. The meta description is what shows up here, below the URL and title in the Google search result page when your article comes up. Know that the meta description is not a ranking factor in itself. You can optimize it with keywords. However, it does have the ability to influence clicks. And as you know, articles that get clicked and read move up the rankings. So here's what you do. Insert keywords into your meta description and use capitalization to draw attention to important words and leave cliffhangers at the end of the description that encourage people to click. So instead of making something boring like read our reviews of the best vitamin C serums on the market, use something like find out which is the best vitamin C serum on the market today. See which ones have free dot dot dot. Free? Free what? Oh my God, I need to click to find out what's free. The next SEO hack I got for you is to use Surfer. This really is and has been my cheat code for the last three years already. Surfer is an amazing tool that looks at your competitors and teases out what are their key on-site SEO and content factors that got them to the top of Google. And then it will guide your writing to make sure you're creating all your content in such a way that there's no way Google won't love it. It's like bowling with the bumper lanes on. It's impossible to miss. Surfer is such an amazing tool that I actually became an early investor in 2019. So give it a shot. It's got my stamp of approval. Now, last but not least, my bonus SEO hack is hands down the most powerful. And that's to network. Networking is by far the most useful thing you can do with your time in the SEO industry. All the best SEO hacks and tactics are shared through personal relationships. So whenever you get the chance, make friends and connect with other SEOs. If you can't make it to conferences, you can always join Facebook groups like the Affiliate SEO Mastermind, or even better, join my course, The Affiliate Lab. At the very least, subscribe for more videos just like this one.